best show in Daytona. Every year it gets bigger. You know, there's nothing here that should be too shiny. Um, you know, nothing with a 26 inch front wheel. You know, it's just this old school stuff. Yeah, it's, it's the best show around. Yeah. They shouldn't let anything in here past 1980, that, especially if it's shiny. We built this flag, it's totally restored, but I kept everything patina oriented, even like from the paint job to the motor. There's nothing on this bike that shines. Um, maybe in my right spotlight. But um, this bike was, was, was really in inspirational for me to build, just to build something brand new that looks like it is 60 years old. This one here is a 41 WLDR flathead. You'll notice the fins are really, the size of the, the cylinders are really big. It's got the four bolt linker, the big intake. Look at the size of the gas tanks for a 45 flathead. This bike was made to race in Daytona in 1941 on the beach. If you were here in 1941 on the beach watching the Daytona 200, there's probably 30, 40 of these bikes on the starting line. This here is, is an 86 inch twin carb uh, knucklehead, makes back 80 horsepower. It's got a five speed tranny, um, new Springer front end. Uh, bet, bet, bet basically a, you know, a retro rod, like in the car world. But uh, this bike, you can ride this bike with anyone with a brand new Dyna or Street Glide or anything, go down the road 80 mile an hour, the bike handles great. So it was built in 19, right yeah, 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 it's just, it's like a new old bike. Um, you know, built in 1903, one of my first bikes put together and hasn't changed a bit. This here I built for my son, he helped me, it was a, it's a 69 shovel, I put 58 tanks, put a great sparkle paint job on it. Um, s and S kept everything old school, bubble bags, um, 86 inch motor, so the thing hauls ass. Um, this here is my friend's, uh, my son's friend who put this fan head together. He's, he's his first bike and uh, I think he did an awesome job. He's, uh, yeah, yeah, there's some, you know, he, he, he found a good, a great engraver and, and uh, you know, really he's got a good imagination for his first bike. This here is a wrap bike that I won this show with um, a couple years ago. Um, I always wanted to build a knuckle pan head motor. Uh, put this together out of parts and pieces and uh, survey car front end, hardtail frame. Uh, a lot of work went into making that motor oil right and breathe right and cam right. Special camshaft for the knuckle head and, and pan head if you can imagine. Um, the oilings all, all changed. A lot, a lot of work in the motor on that bike. And the thing flies. It's the fastest 74 inch old school big twin I've ever ridden. It's amazing how fast this motor is. With having one knuckle and one pan, you wouldn't think so, but it's, 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 a, it's a hot rod.